Hey and welcome to this video where I will show you how you can trade altcoins while looking for micro trends. We are more likely to investigate newer low cap coins rather than looking at some of the big ones such as Ethereum or Polygon. And we can go straight into Token Explorer right here and as I said we're going to look for newer coins but we could also use these metrics to look for bigger coins. So these metrics for the bigger coins would be market cap greater than 60 million for example. And then, and then let's also add liquidity. It's going to be increased by at least, let's say 1 million for these last 24 hours. Then we would get the, the list of these four tokens, Rocket Pool ETH, Stargate token, Dust Protocol and Hashflow. We can see they are pretty old coins. So 600 days, 452, 426, and then 147. With big market cap, but still, growing amount of holders buyers and also experienced buyers for this last week so this is pretty good you can also take a look at the graph and see different trends and do some technical analysis there as well but for this specific occasion when we want to find micro trends now we won't be looking at these coins because of how old they are and how big they are still they might be part of micro trends but I will show you other metrics we will use instead. But first, let me show you how I'm using CoinMarketCap to see how categories are trending. So you can go to CoinMarketCap and on the homepage, you have different categories right here. So if we go into memes, I can see coins such as Dogecoin, we have Shiba, Pepe, Floki, and there's a big, big list of meme coins. And actually, I can get an understanding of how this category is trending, how it's doing by just looking at these coins right here. And the same goes if I go to Metaverse and I see these kind of tokens and do the same analysis here. What I prefer to do is go into categories right here. And from here, I can see how each category is doing. So we can see VR, AR is number one. Then we have content creation. So let's go into this one. And let's say I want to structure by most gains in the last 24 hours. I click here and it, get, it gets sorted. So we have Block V, for example. That's a decentralized ecosystem for NFT powered um, products and that is co-founded by Reeve Collins which also co-founded Tether so that's pretty good to know and from here you can see how it has been growing for the last 24 hours also for the last hour and do some more analysis now let's go back to Morales money which is a different way of finding trends this is by using the numbers instead of looking at categories so I want to remove these ones and change things up a little bit let's add coin age it's going to be less than five days because we want to look at newer coins. Then let's also add security score and have greater than 50. Next, let's add market cap. And this is going to be greater than 500,000. And lastly, liquidity. Let's do increased by at least 100 for the last two days. There we have a much smaller list. Uh, this coin has uh, been minted five days ago and this one four days ago. We can see how low market caps they have. But let's take the first one increased with almost 2000 holders for since it got minted. Buyers around 4600 and experienced buyers about 3500. So let's see what this is all about. From here, we can see it haven't performed really good for the last 24 hours, so minus about 20%. And we can see some key stats from here, right? So first of all, its score is 99. That's pretty good. And if you don't know what this is, we have a video about it. But the DEX score is based on the smart contract, how many holders uh, this coin has, how many transactions, and so much more. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see the alpha metrics. And we can also see... Uh, some of the metrics that the security score is based on. So what we like to see here is buy tax and sell tax. 0% is can be both good and bad, right? It's good because we don't have to pay these taxes. But usually MevBots, when they see buy or sell tax, they stay away from a coin. So that's also usually very attractive. It's open source, because uh, which means that we can actually go and um, go through the contract ourselves. That's also very good. Uh, it's not a honeypot, which means we can both buy and sell the token. That's also very good. And then we can also see the 150 biggest holders and see how much they actually hold. So this wallet right here holds about 10%. That's a lot. 
and if they start dumping they could have a very big impact on the price and we don't like to see that this one has about 3.1 2.8 uh, 3.2 and yeah you can see different clusters so these together have about 3.8 so it's it looks pretty good this one is a bit too big um, for my taste but yeah take a look play around and see what you can find and you can also uh, go back and we could change this let's say to only this day for example and there we have one coin it's color so if we go into this one instead we can see how this coin is actually trending and sometimes when we're using these metrics we might see four or five coins and if we see coins within the same category that can give us a pretty good indication and then we can take this knowledge go to coin market cap and see how that category is actually performing and then put one and one together and hopefully that can be a really good investment but for this color one it's done 6.5 percent for the last 24 hours but it's been going down since uh, the launch day, which we don't like to see, right? Uh, let's see, we have about 1.8k. No, we don't have the holders stats as of yet. Um, so this one, for example, has 7% buy tax and 7.46% sell tax. Um, so Mavbots are probably staying away from it. But then it's up, up to you if you want to pay pay those taxes or not so that's totally up to you right let's see and we don't have any bubble information yet but this is a good way of trying to find micro trends and what categories are trending or going to trend and then find new coins within those categories and hopefully you can be ahead of the curve and find coins very early now if you haven't used Morales money before it is probably the easiest tool in the market for finding these great altcoins very early and minimizing the risk of getting scammed so i've added the correct link to morales money in the description below this video make sure you go check that out today so scroll down click the link check morales money out and let me know in the comment section what you think also make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video